In this video, I am going to show you how you can implement files uploader on your website. If you want to implement a file uploader from your device or from any link, camera, Dropbox, Facebook, Google Drive, Google Photos or Instagram, you can do this in a minute using Upload Care. In this video, I will integrate Upload Care file uploader with Vue.js, but you can do the same thing with React, Angular and other front-end frameworks as well. So let's get started. So for that, let me just simply create a Vue.js project. So for that, go into the terminal and let me just simply navigate into the desktop. And here you just need to type npm create, just type view, add the red, a latest and just click enter. So just give the name of the project, something like view, upload, care and just click enter. So we won't be using the TypeScript, so just press and enter to say no. Just press everything as default and just click enter. So this will create this view upload care project. So let me just navigate into this project here and just type npm install to install all the dependencies. So once all the dependencies are installed, so let me just open the VS code and let me just open the project. Just click on open folder and let me just go into the project. So let me just click and open. So this will open the project inside this VS code. So let me just go inside this source. So inside here, so you can see the app.view. So let me just clear everything from here and also just go inside this main so we didn't need this styling let me just go into this component so we didn't need this component so let me just delete the whole folder and so if i just go into the app.view so just type script and also let me just type template so inside here so let me just write something like hello and let me just run this program so just open the new terminal just type npm run dev and just click enter so this will run this program inside this local host 5173 so let me just control and click here so you can see so this is the basic Vue.js program so once you create the basic Vue.js project so let me just simply create the account in the upload care so let me just go into the browser again and let me just go into the upload care to so just search for upload care so just go into this first link from uploadcare.com so here let me just simply click on login and just continue with the google account or you can just simply uh, continue with the github account as well so once you log in so just go into this new project so here you can see the option for integrating with the html javascript or react nextjs angular so we will be implementing here with the vue.js so to implement in vue.js so we just need to first install the upload care library so for that we just need to type this npm uh, install upload care blocks so let me just simply copy this command from here and go into the vs code so let me just click on plus sign here and simply paste inside here and just click enter so this will add this dependency inside this package.json here so you can see upload blocks so the second step is we just need to modify this config.js so let me just simply copy this file and again go into this vs code let me just clear the uh, config.js here and simply paste that which we have just copied from here and the next thing is so we just have to import the upload care library inside the setup script so for that so let me just uh, copy this lines of code from here and again go into the app.view inside here and let me just simply paste inside here and let me just add setup here so once this is done so we just have to uh, insert the uploader into the template so let me just simply uh, copy this from here and let me just remove this here so let me just simply uh, paste that line inside here so once this is done so now if i just go into the application so you can already see the button of upload files so if i just click here so you can see this ui so you can just simply drop your files here or upload from the device or from link camera dropbox similarly so we will be later adding the facebook insta and other options as well so for now let me just simply click on from device and let me just choose one of the images from here so let me just simply click onto this java and open this image here you can see the one file is uploaded so let me just click and done here and if i just go into the upload care again and go into these files so you can already see the java.png has been successfully uploaded
and also here you can see the url so this is uploaded inside this cdn url so let me just copy this url and if i just go into the new tab of the browser and paste it inside here so you can see so the image has been successfully added so once this is done so now to add more option into this uh, upload files here so if i just click onto this add so you can already see from device link camera dropbox and google drive so here so we just want to add other options as well like uh, from Facebook or Insta so for doing that let me just go into the upload here here and just go into this uh, file uploader here so you can see the uh, option for editing so you can just simply uh, click into this model or minimal view as well so this is the minimal view or you can see this is the model view and similarly uh, you can just click on next and you can see you can just simply add the google drive facebook instagram google photos as well so if i just press on next so here you can see the validation and here you can see the number of file and you have the option for single file and multiple file so with the file uploader you can upload not only one by one so but also in batches so what i mean by that is so if you just click on from device by choosing this multiple one and here you can see so you will be able to select the multiple files at a time and if you just click on open so this will be able to upload the files in batches and just click on next so just click on view js yes. so here you can see so we just have to simply add this source list into the code here so let me just simply copy this line of code source list and here you can see local url camera dropbox and other things here so let me just copy this and let me just simply paste inside this just below this pop key so if you just save this program and again go into this application so here you can already see so it has added the option for adding the files from facebook google drive google photos and instagram so let me just simply try to add the file from this uh, google drive so you can just simply click on google drive and connect with your google drive so once you connect with the google drive so this will open the files on your google drive so let me just simply choose one of the images from my drive and if i just click on sign, right sign here so this will upload this image one so here you can see so it has already uploaded here so similarly if i just click on add more so you can see the option from adding the uh, file from any link so you can just simply click on this from link and you can just simply import the link so let me just try importing image from one of the uh, links so let me just uh, source honest plus and just go into this first link from honestplus.com and let me just simply try adding one of the images from here so you can just simply right click and click onto this copy image address here and go into the application and paste that link and click on import so this will add this image from this honestplus.com as well so if i just go into the files here so if i just reload this so here you can see so it has already added two images here so similarly if i just again go to the app here and you will be able to see this uh, button here so if you just click onto this button so this will open the uh, built-in image editor so with this uh, tool so you can just simply uh, rotate your image or you can just flip your image or similarly you can just uh, increase the brightness exposure or contrast or saturation so you can see different options here so let me just simply uh, try to increase the saturation here and if you just click on apply and you can just simply change the color as well so so here you can see you can just change the color of your image or you can just simply crop your image as well so this is how you and your user can process image on the fly using built-in image editor so if you want to know more about the capabilities of this uh, image editor so you can just simply go into this documentation so i will provide the link of this documentation in the description so thank you so much for watching if you like the video be sure to like share and subscribe i will see you in the next one